joining us now here on the Mercedes-Benz Vans phone line, the head coach for said Florida State Seminoles, Mr. Mike Norvell. Coach, how are we doing? Welcome to the show. Uh, doing well, Ryan. Appreciate you having me on. You bet. You bet. Um, I telling the guys here, got, got an opportunity to spend the early part of camp with your team, saw the culture you're creating, uh, the expectations that exist there, and how you're going about your business. How's camp been so far? Uh, how do you feel like uh, this team has responded to what you've been working on the last couple of years? Um, I've been really pleased. Uh, the, the, we just finished up our 13th practice today, and you know, our guys are, are working hard. I mean, they've been been great competition, both sides of the ball. Um, you know, just everybody pushing to be the best version of them. And, you know, we've got some great newcomers that have joined the program uh, from transfers for, uh, to high school players that have a chance to make an early impact. And then just the development of the returning of the returning players. I mean, it, you talked about the culture and, and, you know, what we're working to establish. And what I love is that you're starting to see a, a player led team uh, where players are coaching players and you know, just the understanding of the expectation and uh, you know, guys embracing the challenges that, that always come with fall camp. But, uh, you know, I, I definitely am grateful that uh, that you kicked off our fall camp with great word for our team. And, you know, really appreciate you doing that. But I've been but I've been really proud of our guys and how they've responded. You know, when you when you decide to take a job like this, you've you, of course, are falling in the footsteps of legend. And uh, you watched how things played out. Um, but something like this is, is, is an opportunity you got you to gotta take. What has been the experience like uh, understanding that with struggles come a, a ton of scrutiny, but persevering and, and showcasing that to your, to your young student athletes that you're coaching? Well, you know, it, it, being at Florida State is it is a special place, and you know, uh, the thing that I love is you you look back in in our in our history, and um, you know, the, yes, there are great expectations for, for what we need to do on the field, and you know, we embrace those. We're excited about those. We're excited about what the future holds, but there's also an expectation of how it needs to be done, and you know, helping helping these guys, uh, you know grow and develop in all aspects of of their life and to see to see that those steps being you know you know being taken by our players and really that standard being held uh by our staff you know it's given us an opportunity to respond and you know we've had some some challenging moments you know in the in the last uh, couple of years you know um you know first year coming in you know with all the change and and you really a lack of continuity um you know, and then having having COVID, and you know, not really being able to, to have that full year together with that team. Um, but then, you know, going into this last year, and you know, we didn't start off the way we wanted, but you, you got to see a response, and you saw a response because of the belief that our players have, uh, you know, in, in what we're doing, the, the belief that they have in each other, and the opportunity that's ahead. And I was really pleased to see that, you know, those steps that were taken last year. Uh, you know, it wasn't a it wasn't a uh, a uh, fairy tale. It didn't finish the way we wanted, and you know, still a lot of areas of growth. But I've seen those guys embrace embrace that process and just the way they've worked this off season. And we have a lot of confidence going into this year, and, and with the opportunity that's ahead. So, um, this is a, this is a neat story, and this is this speaks to your culture and and just how you go about some things. So, uh, sitting in um, coach's first initial meeting, he does something great with the team. Right, he has them all uh, sit and write a handwritten letter to the most important person in their life who's helped them get to where they're at. And, um, and I, I partook in it. I, I, I sat there and wrote a letter to Anna. The letter coach came yesterday. That's cool. And um, I, I was wondering when it was going to get there, but um, she, I, I come walking into her office and she was holding this letter, reading it because she thought it was Florida State, assumed it was something for me, but it had her name on it. And uh, the the reception from something as simple as sitting down uh, and writing a, a letter to them and telling them how important and how uh, supportive they've been to you. Speak to that a little bit and what you get your team to do. Cause I think it's an really incredible thing that I don't think a lot of people talk about. Well, you know, for us, it's, uh, you know, they, these players, you know, they, there's, they work so hard and they, 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 they pour so much into, you know, this opportunity and trying to be the best college football player that they can be. And, you know, I just want, I want our guys to, to also have that, you know, a humble mindset and a, and a, and a servant mindset and you to realize, you know, who helps you along in that journey. And there's, and the sacrifices of loved ones, the sacrifices of, that of people that have been on that journey with you and have seen the ups and seen the downs, uh, you know, it's just, um, 
you know, the, the opportunity to say thank you and show gratitude uh, for what's been given and then to, you know, to make sure that they know that each day that we're going to do all that we can to help, re- you know, represent the opportunity that's been given, um, you know, with to the best of our ability. And, you know, I think, I think, you know, handwritten notes are, are almost a, uh, uh, you know, some uh, forgotten past forgotten, past, yeah. Within with within our country, and you know, I, I tell our players, you know, when you get an opportunity to send a letter and it gets to somebody in the mail, there's nothing like opening that letter. And actually, I don't, I don't, one of our offensive linemen, you know, uh, Caden Lyles, came up to me uh, a few days ago, and his mom had, had received a letter, and she called him crying. Um, just because she appreciated it so much. And he said, Coach, thank you so much for, for allowing me and, and for having us do this. And, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, he felt the impact of just saying thank you to a loved one. And that's something sometimes we get so caught up in what we're trying to do and where we're trying to go. But, you know, to, to, to have that humble spirit and to just to show gratitude to those that have helped impact us, I think is something that's really important. Yeah, it was incredible. I appreciate uh, uh you know, it's something that wouldn't have maybe necessarily, you know, because I text with her all the time and it's you talked about that in terms of technology, but the, you know, kind of the personal aspect of it. And, and I can't tell you how much that made a difference in my life with my relationship with my wife, just for simply doing something that you want to help people with. So I just want to say thank you uh, for that as well. Um, moving towards the football aspect of things, I got a chance to sit in, in a meeting with the quarterbacks. Uh, Jordan Travis, in, in really kind of in year two, uh, seems to have really taken a foothold of, uh, of a leadership position and a guy that understands what his role on, on this football team is. Oh, absolutely. And I think he's had a phenomenal camp. I mean, he's had, he's definitely playing to the, to the best uh, that he's been since he's been here. You see the confidence, uh, the ownership, really the leadership, which you touched on. Um, you know, that's something that's, that's coming very natural to him. And, you know, that it, his performance is speaking for itself, uh, you know, as we've gone through this, uh, th- this fall camp and just so excited about uh, the player that he can be, the leader that he's become, and, uh, you know, just, you know, the way that, uh, that he's going to be able to guide this offense. The wide receiver position. I, I I grabbed you during practice and I looked at some of the guys. Right, Micah Pittman from Oregon, Johnny Wilson from Arizona State. Some some real studs and stars uh, in their ability to to run routes, catch the football, and stuff like that. Kind of speak to how the the, the wide receiver position has been buoyed and, and and really and those. And I'm not even talking about some of the other guys that you have out on the perimeter. They're like six five and just freakish athletic. So you got to be excited about what your passing game is going to look like. We are, and that's something you know. There was, um, you know, we were able to add some some, some talented young men and, and playmakers. A couple that you mentioned, as well as like Deuce Span, um, that came in from uh, from Illinois. You six four, two hundred five pounds, can can really run. And then you see the development of guys that have been here, and you know, like Pokey Wilson, uh, Malik, uh, Malik McLean, you know, Kentron Poitier. Uh, you know, when you when you see those guys that are taking the, you know, the, that type of steps, and you know, just the competition. Uh, that that shows up day in and day out. It's really pushing everybody to, to having to be their best and and to really uh, you know focus on that consistency and in in, the, in their playmaking. And uh, you know I love uh, I love the steps that I'm seeing uh, from that uh, from that position. And it needs to show up big for us. And you know I think we've been able to uh, you know attract some great players and and seeing the development really is encouraging. Uh, all right, you guys get an early start this year. That's why camp started so early, right? Duquesne on August 27th, right at right the forefront of your mind. Uh, the team you got to go out and, and get better with uh, and, and, and play well. But then, you know, you, you get the test, right? I think we're going to find out a lot about uh, not only your team, but your staff and, and everybody when, when LSU and you take on each other in week two. Uh, you know, talk about the early game. You know, it's it's rare that a game is played in week zero. Uh, what 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 went into the decision making on that? And uh, do you like how you guys were one of the first teams out there getting ready for your season? I do, and you know, being able to play week zero, uh, you know, that put a, uh, an absolute sense of urgency to everything this summer. And you know, being able to kick off at Doak Campbell Stadium is is something that's special for us for our team. Uh, really looking forward to, to to that opportunity and to go go out and uh, you know showcase the, the first opportunities uh, to, to to the identity of this team and and this group and you know then the next week you know you get the chance to play in a, in a national showcase game Sunday night only uh, only college football game on and you know definitely uh, 
you know, we look forward to all the opportunities, but we know that that that's that's one of the you know wonderful things about being here at Florida State is you're going to get to play in those prime time uh, matchups, and uh, you know uh, our players are just excited for the opportunity to compete. Um, but it's definitely being able, it's gr- definitely great to be able to start off uh, there at home in, in week zero. All right, uh, head coach for the Florida State Seminoles, Mike Norvell. Uh, taking the time out of his schedule to join us today. Coach, thanks so much for not only uh, having me down and, and being part of the program with you, but uh, doing what you're doing. I think you're, you know, not only are you a hell of a, a football coach, but, you know, this is what you want to hear from from the men who are are, sh- are shaping young men's lives is, is to be the head coach that you are. So congratulations on that. Thanks for helping me along with this process, and good luck. Well, I appreciate you, Ryan, and you guys have a great uh, rest of the day. appreciate you having me on, and go Knowles. Go Knowles. All right, Coach Mike Norvell for the Florida State Seminoles.